Well, this morning we're talking STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And there's a free STEM festival coming up this weekend that's designed to inspire young minds and showcase the power of education. Mr. Eric Lewis is executive director of the Baton Rouge STEM, and he's here with the details about all the hands-on activities for children this weekend. Thank you for coming in this morning, Mr. Thank Lewis. Thank you. Have of course, this program is a part of you all's self-determination project. So first, just tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so project. about this time last year, we received funding to um, provide programming um, in the 70802 zip code. Um, and so for the last year or so, we've had uh, Saturday sessions, um, but those sessions have also included entrepreneurial training for adults. Um, and then we've done character development, a program called Young Kings and Queens. Um, so last fall, winter, <coughs> excuse me, we, we did those on Saturdays. And then this past summer, uh, we had a summer camp held there. Uh, we also received support uh, for the program from the, uh, the mayor's uh, safe, healthy, hopeful summer program. Um, and so, so we had the summer camp and then we came back uh, when school started and continued our Saturday programming. Um, and so it's been, it's been amazing. We partnered with a couple schools, CCL Elementary, okay. um, one in particular, and then McKinley Elementary. Um, and so those two particular schools, we've been over the years been doing after school programming at those schools as well. And so what, what we've been trying to do, again, families in the 708, 70802 zip code, providing them with uh, opportunities for upliftment and economic development um, and, and placing kids on the path to college uh, through STEM. Now that video that we showed there, that was actually under one of the summer camps that we had a chance Correct. to feature you all do. So tell us just some about some of the hands-on experience that kids would be able to uh, do this coming up weekend. So actually, um, so it'll be a lot of kids that actually participated in the summer program, summer camp that'll be leading uh, the STEM stations. Okay. Um, and so we'll have a mix of coding, we'll have some gaming activities, video gaming activities, uh, chemistry, uh, basic electronics, we'll be flying drones and rockets. Uh, they'll be building uh, different structures uh, like bridges and skyscrapers. Um, and so again, it's an it's a extension of what the kids in the program <coughs> have done either in their school sites, at the summer camp or at Saturday programs. Uh, but it'll be an opportunity for them to demonstrate their leadership skills um, in public speaking as they share with other kids uh, many of these different activities. And so all in total, we anticipate having about 22 STEM stations. Okay. Um, Dow uh, Corporation is coming and they'll have a couple stations. Uh, we've invited the College of Engineering from Southern. Um, and so it'll be 20 stations with kids and about five or six more stations with community partners. Is there a particular age of students that's this open to or what? Yeah, so it, it's kindergarten through 12th grade. Okay. Um, and so there'll be things, you know, specifically targeted towards the younger kids. Um, but it's kindergarten through 12th grade. It is free. It's open to the entire community. And where's it going to be held? It's going to be held at Brex North Street Park, um, 4100 North Street, uh, which is at the very back of the Eden Park community. And so again, um, it's open to the entire community, but we're going to be at the North Street Gym uh, at the back of the Eden Park neighborhood. Now, I know you did mention, you know, uh, you're open to everyone, so I know you said you are targeting the 70802 community, but yes. if someone that does not live in that zip code, can they still come? Please don't let that stop you. Oh, uh, well, so it, it's, it's open to the entire community. Uh, and so we, we've had people from Ascension Parish, from West and East Feliciana Parish that have registered. Um, there will be free food. Um, and since it is the uh, fall festival season, there'll be some treats for the kids as well. 